And we recognize the, uh, the work of our founding fathers today, giving us our independence here in the U.S. And uh, what a great way to do it by getting outside, cooking, having a great, great time. Ryan, there's no shortage of what we can do today, right? Absolutely, and the weather will fit the part for at least most areas of the region today, so certainly good news in that front. And starting up pretty nice on this Independence Day in Albuquerque. Look at that beautiful live look. We're way before sunrise. The city lights of the metro contrasting with the dark skies and the outlining part of the Sandias. Once again, a beautiful start, not as cool and not as humid, preluding to a hotter and drier day across much of the region. 70 degrees right now with the east south easterly wind at 3 miles per hour, 61% relative humidity. Again, not nearly as humid as compared to yesterday morning and not as cool as well. We had some thunderstorms yesterday in the northern mountains and also in the southern part of the Rio Grande River Valley and also along the Pecos River Valley as well. Those storms quickly moved off to the south and east. Now we're left over with mostly clear skies, primarily in the northern half of the region. And in southern areas, just some wispy clouds moving from the Gila National Forest near Silver City and also closer to Carlsbad and Hobbs, just a few clouds. Those areas may experience some thunderstorms. Mother Nature may produce fireworks of her own later today in those areas. Something we'll have to keep in mind. A much different air mass in northern areas of the viewing area compared to southeast of Mexico. So while it's 78 and pretty humid in Carlsbad, we're sitting at 45 right now in Alamosa and much drier in 70 in Albuquerque, 58 in Santa Fe. So temperatures a bit lower in northern areas with drier air. Those dew point temperatures indicate the lower surface moisture content. Look at that dew point of 35 in Taos. It is pretty cool and also pretty dry out there. Again, mild and humid though from Roswell, Carlsbad, and Hobbs. Dew points in the 60s with more moisture in the upper levels as well there. There could be some thunderstorms forming in the afternoon commute. So if you guys hear thunder, go indoors, of course, in those areas. And that line of thunderstorms stretching into the panhandle of Texas, but throughout the rest of the state of the land of enchantment, enchanting weather for the most part, mostly sunny and pretty hot throughout the afternoon. 80s by noon, upper 80s, as a matter of fact, by noon in places like Albuquerque, mid to upper 90s by the afternoon, right around 97 by 5 p.m. I think we'll sneak in at 98 and still pretty nice weather by later this evening, just in time for the fireworks. Again, most will be hotter compared to what we have been seeing, right around 97 by 420 or so. Depicted on this model, again, I think we'll reach 98. Triple digits widespread in southern areas, but even though it will be more humid, again, it'll be pretty hot in southeast Mexico with a chance of thunderstorms. Again, the drier air mass throughout much of the northern region today. Again, coming from the Four Corners region with only moisture primarily in the southern parts of our viewing area. Now, near Alamogordo, Rudosa, Roswell, there's that slight chance of some isolated, strong flooding thunderstorms, but sunny, hot and pretty dry throughout the rest of the region. Then, later tonight, overnight, a backdoor cold front comes through with the direction of that cold front moving to the south and to the west with more moisture. That will really start to kick up those winds in around Rudeau. So upsloping winds and moisture will produce some pretty potent thunderstorms late tonight potentially, but more so tomorrow after the daytime heating, more scattered thunderstorms in the eastern half of New Mexico. That will affect these winds especially, but right now pretty light, but later today, especially even later in the morning and the afternoon, we'll start to see that easterly flow. Again, right now pretty light near Clayton, but picking up from places like Clayton, too, can carry more from the east, and we'll start to see, again, some of that start to come closer into the land of enchantment later today, overnight to tomorrow. Look at those winds coming in around 20 to 40 miles per hour in around Santa Fe to Albuquerque. Now, in places like Durango, remain pretty quiet. Sunny in the 80s and low 90s. Very similar in places like Farmington. We'll start to see those winds pick up, though, this weekend. Las Cruces, high 90s, low triple digits, taking a little bit of a tumble as we head into Friday and as we head into other parts of, again, the state. Temperatures above normal today, but Roswell taking a dip tomorrow in the upper 80s, low 90s, as opposed to triple digits. Similar in Las Vegas, although, of course, since they're farther north and higher up in elevation, cooler Santa Fe and closer to the metro, we'll see those temperatures kind of go up and down with different air masses as we have for the next few days. Places like Albuquerque, again, close to 100 in around parts of the metro, a little bit cooler tomorrow, and then heating up back into the upper 90s, low triple digits this weekend before our chances of rain increase next week. So mm -hmm. each day will be different from the next, but we'll take the beautiful weather for Absolutely, today. Absolutely, Ryan. Okay, so we're going to be treated with a beautiful sight in the skies tonight. Look what we have over here, over our shoulders. Look at the moon over the Sandias. Wow. 
amazing. Beautiful stuff. Man, it, it just does not get any better than that right there. Well, pretty close to a new moon for your 4th of July overnight, so certainly good news on that front. Absolutely. Great skies for the fireworks and stargazing as well. There it is. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan.